So I'm going to get started on putting the inspection covers on the wing. Um, there's six of them, and um, I fitted them up with the sheets on the workbench, and then I fitted them to the rings. So that's where they sit right now. So this outer ring still needs to be dimpled. So I'm going to do that with this cover on. Hopefully it'll keep it a little flatter. You know, as you work the metal things, as you continue to work metal, you know, dimpling and stuff, it tends to get a little ripply. So hopefully this will help keep it straight. And um, I'm also not going to paint them. There's no reason. I mean, they're easily to easy to inspect, obviously. And if they start out corrosion, probably not to paint them. I think I will get rid of my magic marker and put some stickers on the inside where they go because. Although they were all made on the CNC, once I hand fit everything, it's unlikely that you're going to want to interchange them between the other covers. You want to put them back in the same place with the same side up, or edge up, I should say. So, so I'm going to start out with this cover right here, So, uh, which covers the top of the spring there. So this is the cover that goes in there, so I'm going to go get it dimpled, and then we'll Clico it in place. And, Fit it up. So that worked out okay. The uh, we did get a little curl, but not too bad. And I'm just going to give it some little finger pressure and try to flatten it out a little before I go to put it in. You always think it'll just pull out, but the straighter it is, the better it's going to come out. I'm just trying to make sure it's sitting in there as best as it can. I'm sure I'll have to do some final fitting on this cover, but it's pretty close. I'm going to put all the Clicos in, then I'll remove the cover, and then I'll rivet those in place with the squeezer. Alright, so fits pretty good. It's actually probably way too tight. Um, it's a little tight over there for sure. I'll take the cover out. The reason it's too tight is you need room for a layer of paint. <laughs> so it's too tight for that. So I'm going to end up fitting this cover and just sanding down this edge until it has a little gap all the way around. Probably need about 40,000, maybe 50 thousandths of an inch. But anyhow, that's its final place. I'll take the cover off now. Alright, so that one's all riveted in. So now I'm going to take the cover and uh, work on its fit. And I know it was too tight on this side, so I'm just going to sand it. I have plenty of radius in the corners, so I'll just sand the sides till I have a nice gap all the way around. And then I'll fix the radius in the corners. And this one will be complete. So this is the side here that's tight. So I just got some, some 80 grit here. It goes down pretty quick, and then I've got some 120 and some 220, and I'll just 
deburr it a little bit so I don't make a big mess out of it. And then unfortunately, I've got to screw it on to test fit it. So that'll be uh, a multitude of times when it screws in and out. I can get an idea. But in the end, it's going to have to get screwed down. Take a little more, especially off the top. That looks pretty close. I'm going to put a few screws in it and see how it looks once it's screwed down. So there we are. I've got a pretty decent gap around all the edges, as you can see there. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Of course, you could always play with it later and adjust it. Pretty happy with that one. Fit looks good. There we go, all six inspection covers are installed and fitted. So now I can move on to the uh, gas tank cover.